For centuries, Lake Victoria has sustained the people of East Africa. But now the old pastime of washing and drinking in its waters is proving too dangerous. Officials say pollution has led to a proliferation of diseases and warn that residents should be careful of the water. But people like Abdullah have fished here for years and can't avoid it. I've had typhoid, I've had bilharzia. My friend had to take me to hospital. Right now I'm aching. I'm suffering from the aftermath. Big companies and hotels have been accused of pouring chemicals into the lake. But a boom in small fishermen hasn't helped either. Many people don't use latrines and empty their waste into the water supply. And one campaigner says they have to change their behaviour. We have a lot of problems right now, and it's getting worse. But there are many uneducated and illiterate people who aren't aware of the problems of pollution. We need political will to make a change, but we also need to teach people more to change their mindsets. The reason for action is obvious. Lake Victoria is a jewel for East Africa, and in Tanzania, it has been the engine behind the city of Mwanza's growth. The change in Mwanza is staggering. It is now Tanzania's second biggest city, and Lake Victoria sustains millions of people's lives. The challenge for Tanzania is to keep this lake as a vital natural and human resource, not just now, but long into the future. There were a number of new cholera cases just last week, and Bilhartia is still present. It's why the authorities have issued such a stark warning. It is not just people who need to be kept clean, but the water itself. Dan Ashby, CCTV, in Lake Victoria.